Hello, thank you for joining me today. We've been reading through A Course in Miracles, the daily lessons, and today we are on a focus lesson, What is the World? Uh, this will be the introduction to the next set of lessons, 241 through 250. What is the world? The world is false perception. It is born of error and it has not left its source. It will remain no longer than the thought that gave it birth is cherished. When the thought of separation has been changed to one of true forgiveness, will the world be seen in quite another light and one which leads to truth where all the world must disappear and all its errors vanish. Now its source has gone and its effects are all gone as well. The world has made an attack on God. It symbolizes fear. And what is fear except love's absence? Thus the world was meant to be a place where God could enter not and where his son could be apart from him. Here was perception born for knowledge could not cause such insane thoughts. But eyes deceive and ears fear, hear falsely. Now mistakes become quite possible, for certainty has gone. The mechanisms of illusion have been born instead, and now they go to find what has been given them to seek. Their aim is to fulfill the purpose which the world has made to witness and make real. They see in its illusion but a solid base where truth exists upheld apart from lies. Yet everything they report is but illusion, which is kept apart from truth. As sight made, it was made to lead away from truth, it can be redirected. Sounds become the call for God, and all perception can be given a new purpose by the one whom God appointed, savior to the world. Follow his light and see the world as he beholds it. Hear his voice alone in all that speaks to you, and let him give you peace and certainty, which you have thrown away, but heaven has preserved for you in him. Let us not rest content until the world has joined our perception. Let us not be satisfied until forgiveness has been made complete. And let us not attempt to change our function. We must save the world. For we who made it must behold it through the eyes of Christ, that what was made to die can be restored to everlasting life. Well, that's a great, uh, great lesson. Uh, as always, difficult language, but, um, you know, if we use it, if we speak about this in the kind of language that I, I speak in, it's an illusion. The world, it's an illusion. Everything looks solid and real and, and nothing is solid or real. And so it's true. The world has made an attack on God. It symbolizes fear. And that all fear is, is love's absence. There's nothing to fear here. And I hope that you have a great day working with this lesson today. If you need additional support, feel free to reach out to me. You can message me on Facebook or on YouTube or um, send me a message at 907-351-3003. Much love. And namaste.